This is The Cruise Point of View with Steve Moore. If you've not been here before, I'm Steve Moore. Thanks a lot for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to explain what a studio grip is, what they do on set, the different types of grips, and what they do. So hang out and I'll explain everything. Okay guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are, I'm going to tell you and explain exactly what a studio grip does. There are five different types of grips. All five of those types of grips have specific set of skills and knowledge that they bring to the job. The five grips are as follows. Rigging grip, construction grip, art department grip, dolly grip, and set grip or first company grip. All right, first let's talk about a construction grip. The construction grips, those are the guys and gals that actually touch the physical sets themselves. They'll take walls or flats, as we call them on set, and put them together on a blueprint just like you're building a building. The construction grips usually assist the carpenters in assembling most all of the sets. The construction grips will also take apart sets and build sets throughout the season as different scenes and different places that you would see in that television show, movie, commercial, or music video. The construction grips are also in charge and responsible for installing any doors, windows, fireplaces, pieces of fencing, basically anything else that the carpenters need help with to get the set ready for the camera. Once the set is all put together, the construction grips will release the set to the painters and the construction guys and gals to make sure to put their finishing touches on the set so it'll be camera ready. An art department grip's responsibilities and jobs are as follows. They're there to assist the art department or the production designer in hanging items like lights, chandeliers, big pictures, art pieces, uh, lights, things like that, sconces on the wall. They're also there to assemble small pieces of set furniture, things like that that actually go on the set. And of course, they're there also to load and unload those trucks. As an art department grip, you got to be a quick thinker on your feet because most of the time you're dealing with live shows, kids, and audience members. So just remember, being an art department grip, very hectic job, but very, very rewarding. The next set of grips are the rigging grips. These fine folks are the toughest grips on the planet. You'll see these fine folks climbing in the sky on box truss, walking out on the perms, pulling up chain motors, hanging chain and pipe for everybody else. These are some very, very hardworking folks. The rigging grips are responsible for all lifting and overhead hanging of any type. Other responsibilities of the rigging grips are they have the fun job of putting together camera rigs on cars, on trucks, on motorcycles, <laughs> and even bicycles. They are some of the coolest rigs you've ever seen. On set, they're also in charge of hanging the pipe and chain above the sets, which the electricians and the grips can hang their equipment to light the scenes on those sets. Rigging grips are also responsible for rigging up green screens and blue screens. They're also responsible for putting up backdrops, trans lights, or any kind of lighting instruments that are going to be in the scene. They're also going to be involved in assisting the stunt department. In case any kind of stunts need to be rigged at the time of the stunt, the rigging department is there to help. Needless to say, the rigging department and the riggers on that crew have a tremendous responsibility for safety, and getting the production done in a timely manner. The fourth type of grip out there is a dolly grip. A dolly grip, in a nutshell, is in charge of all the camera movement, whether it be on a dolly, on a vehicle, or on a movie crane. If it moves, the dolly grip is a part of that. Dolly grips are also responsible for carrying cable and batteries when they're doing a handheld shot. They'll be guiding the, the uh, camera operator so he doesn't fall down. And this will also apply when the grip is assisting with the steady cam operator and his rig. And one of the other things that dolly grips are really good at is they are the last line of defense for the eyes for the key grip. They see exactly what the lens sees. So if there's any information that they can receive from that shot to relate to the key grip, 
we can light it better, we can shape the light better, and we can get the scene looking much better. Last but not least, guys, let's talk about a set grip or the first company grip. As a first company grip, you've probably been in the business a while and you've gleaned the information from all the other grips and all the areas of gripping. So when you get on set, you kind of have to be a little bit of a MacGyver, if you will. Meaning, if you get on set, the director may ask the grip department, hey, could you move a wall? We're going to put a camera right here so we can get a better shot. So if you were a construction grip at any time, or you have some sort of that knowledge, you'll know how to take apart a wall and to put it right back into place. So when you shoot the turnaround, it'll look the same. You also might be asked to lay dolly track for the dolly grip. Whether you're going to do it for the next shot up because we're running a little late, or we're going to lay the track now and come back after lunch and have it the first shot. So knowing how to lay track, leveling it in two different positions, whether it be straight level or level with the lay of the land. Also, you have to understand where the camera is going to be so you can place the chassis of the dolly on that track correctly. As a set grip, you actually have to know a little bit of rigging also because if the key grip says, hey, Steve, I need you to go up top, meaning go up into the perms on stage and drop some line and a pipe down because we got to pull up a teaser for a light. What that's going to entail is that I hustle up the stairs, I put on my harness, I clip in, and we go out into the ozone. So you have to be able to do that stuff too. Most of the stages are anywhere from 25 to 45 feet up. And they have the other higher stages also. Just understand though, we have a harness on and we are clipped in. So, and we are trained in safety on these items. Hi everybody. Hey, listen, when I was going through editing on this video here, I realized I left out one important part for the set grips. As a set grip, one of our main responsibilities, shape, diffuse, and cut the light per the director of photography's orders, who he gets from the director for the look he's looking for. So just know we're very involved as set grips or first company grips with the camera, with the director of photography. We're dealing with lights. We're dealing with diffusion. We shape it. We make everything look good. All the different shadows or slashes you see in a movie or a television show, grips did that. So just know that uh, that's one of the most important parts I left out. And I do apologize. I just got very excited about talking about all the other grips and the different opportunities and, and stuff that we do as grips. And it, I just got carried away. So thank you very much. And just understand that's another part of what grips do. So in conclusion, guys, there is a lot of different opportunities to be a grip in different ways on set on production or off production. Needless to say, being a grip for me has been an exciting career and an amazing gig for almost 30 years. I really appreciate all the people I've worked with. And if you're interested in getting into the studios, leave me a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to do a video to let you know how I got in and maybe you can get in too. See you next time.